hi i hope everyone is doing okay since my last video the topic i'll be talking about today is about um choosing a partner while you have sickle cell disease it could be hbss it could be hbsc it could be hb thalassemia it could be any any of the um, sickle cell type and um and what we go through as as sickle cell sufferers well from my own personal point of like my opinion you can't help who you fall in love with and it's not it's not kind of a bit it's 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 kind of a bit strange that before you start dating a guy all you have to do is hello can you please follow me to my hematology so that I can test you to um for sickle cell either the traits or to make sure that you are aa so that i know that when we want to have kids we don't have trouble well with me the only the only time I, I like i took my ex-partner to to my doctor was when we were like getting serious and they talk about children like i get seen involved and stuff that was the only reason i took him to my doctor to have to 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 have my um to for him to have sickle cell tests done and um i've 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 seen couples i've i've met couples who happens to fall in love first get married then go for sickle cell test only to find out that one of them has got sickle cell traits what do you do do you file for divorce because your partner has got sickle cell traits well in that position in that situation there's there are few things that can be done um there is you can try for a baby and once the baby is 11 weeks or 12 weeks the pregnancy is 11 weeks or, or 12 weeks then there is a test that your the doctor uh, like the test they test the baby through like some friends that have had they said the needle was kind of long and stuff they put it into the belly they poke it poke the baby get some blood off and test if the baby has got sickle cell or or just the trait well in that situation if you find out that baby has the baby has got sickle cell what we what can you do well if you are pro life like me i will i know it's a kind of it's a, it's a sad situation i i can't make no suggestion for anybody but once like you know that the child has got sickle cell what will you do do you have to start talking like training yourself for the journey ahead or do you go for termination when you know basically having an abortion maybe to you according to your religion or you just know that is morally wrong that i am i'm not judging nobody no woman out there that has gone through abortion one time or the other in their life i am not judging i am just talking from my own perspective what do you do then do you terminate the pregnancy or do you buckle your shoe and say you know what the next few years of our life is going to be a bit harder than we tend to like think of then if you want to have the baby go ahead definitely it's your choice and if you want to have termination it's your choice it's not the doctor's choice it's not the nurse's not choice it's between both partners and god so it's your choice whatever you want to do but another thing that can be done is um after after the 
pregnancy det um, testing the baby while pregnant there is a procedure called pgd uh let me f i think it stands for pre one one minute the pro it's called pgd pgd is pgd is done in con in conjunction with um ivf but the problem is the pr the procedure is still is still very new this is where this is where the the um you go through ivf and during the before they give back the embryo they transfer the embryo back into the woman they test the embryos to make sure that the one that as in got sickle cell is the one that is being transferred but for this it's called pre implantation genetic diagnosis yeah pgd or pg pgid pre pre implantation genetic diagnosis that is like i like i explained they they test the embryos to make sure that the ones that is going to be transferred back as in got sickle cell but we, it's bad enough going through high vf which is both it's physically emotionally mentally draining then combining ivf with pgd it's another it's another torture on its own but you can only do pgd if you're lucky enough to live in the west uh, maybe you live in uk you live in america that is the only thing maybe i don't know if nigeria or africa is doing that now i am not aware of it but another thing is pgd is very 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 expensive and sometimes people don't get funding on nhs to have um to have the procedure i think it's about nine thousand pounds or so to to have um pgd with ivf so that is another problem on its own but at least there is a way out and couples who happens to be as as marrying each other i have a, an aunt that excuse me that after after marriage that was when they went for blood test and they both they found out that both the man and the woman are both as even though they are they were on the watch list like okay if our first pregnancy was a Yes, a second pregnancy was a yes, a third pregnancy was a yes, you know, which was like it's it's a miracle on its own. But I am not saying if you are a yes and she's if she is a is a yes and she is a yes, go ahead, do the same thing. You are not gonna have sickle cell baby. If I say that, I'm. I, I, I'm just being unrealistic. I'm lying to you. And I'm not saying, oh, because you've got sickle cell, oh, and you end up marrying someone with a um with a trait. Uh you can ha do this, you can do this, you can do that. Every decision that is being made or made has got its consequences. Okay, let's say for example because pgd is very very expensive another another option is um for like i think for two, another option is either egg donation or sperm donation if the woman has if the woman is the one with the sickle cell someone with aa can donate egg for her as long as she carries the to me, as long as she carries the baby in her belly, the baby is obviously ours. Even though it's not biologically ours. It's, this is like the secret that is going to be between the man and the woman. And if it's the man that has got sickle cell and 
you don't want to go through okay let's get pregnant first let's try our luck let's get pregnant first and go for the um the screening at 11 or 12 weeks after the wife has gone through the morning sickness all these things if you don't want to do that the they could they could go for the man if the man has, is the one with sickle cell it could go for like spam donation all you all both of you have to do is know that this is between both of you and it's nobody's business it's not your mother's business it's not your father's business it's not your friend's business it's not your it's nobody's business it's yours and you don't need to go out there and tell people yeah right my my child is not biologically mine if you cannot do any of this there are a lot of children out there that are looking for parents like they're looking for home adopt one adopt two you know to me it's not everybody cannot be like um angelina jolie but we can start from somewhere go for adoption to me in this present age and having sickle cell oh i i know about a case of the man and the woman they've been going out for so long the man told the woman he's got as and the woman is SS. they kept it between themselves like not telling anybody about it and um they were about to be referred for pgd and the doctor's like you know what let's even have a blood test and see let's have blood test on record to make sure that everything is okay only for the result to come back and they found out that the guy is actually AA not AS so my advice to to sickle cell sufferers out there do you but one thing is do everything possible not to bring another sickle cell child into this world because I, I say to my family members, I say to them, if any one of you, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry for being harsh. If any one of you have a baby with sickle cell, I'm going to disown you. I'm not being irrational. I'm not being like crazy saying 